Alrighty, so this is an implementation that we built inside of Zoho CRM for um, implementing a client script to allow for secure capture and storage of private information in CRM. So I'll be honest, before seeing this one, I didn't even know this was an option um, to really get there. So big shout out to Landon and JP uh, who built this out. But so the goal of the implementation here is to find a process for uh, encrypting and masking confidential data as it's entered onto a contact record. So users of CRM will know that you can set up a field and on the back end, you can make it an encrypted field. But on the front end, when a user sees it, they will still see the full value of that field. Uh, the encryption really just affects like the API access and the ability to export that value. Um, but a user still going to see it at the end of the day. So what we wanted to do is implement a client script that could essentially run an encryption for a piece of data um, as the record is being saved and then store the masked value. So like, you know, last four digits of a social security number back inside of that original field. So there's lots of different ways to do this. Um, we landed on a client script mainly because of one big reason. So if you do this with Deluge, when you save that contact record, if you went into the timeline, you would see the before and after value uh, before and after the encryption occurred. So in the timeline, it would always store, you know, that full SSN just right there, you know, in, in the timeline. So doing it with a client script, it actually encrypts it before the record saves. So you can't see that full value even in the timeline. It does it just immediately on the fly. Um, it writes back to the original field with kind of like asterisks and just the last four digits of the particular number. Um, and then it stores a encrypted value for the full number in that record in a hidden field that nobody can use. Um, in the future, if you do need to use it there, you run it through, you know, decryption using an encryption key that's stored in the system. And then you can see that full value if you're like an admin user of the platform. So really cool. Honestly, the thing I didn't know is that you could actually do like the field masking here using a client script where you're replacing numbers with the asterisks, but actually storing the real value behind the scenes. Um, I don't think we've done that before. Um, again, big shout out guys for figuring the client script piece because um, the problem with this always was that when you did it with a deluge function, the full number would just be there in the timeline because right. you save the record, it triggers a script, then it replaces the full number with the truncated or encrypted version. But anyone who knows to click timeline, <laughs> right, could just go and get whatever that value was. So doing it with the client script nice... makes it never save as the full number anywhere in the system. JP did an internal video on this for us to go. I'm, I'm thinking that I think the decryption was going to be handled in a small little creator app he was writing. If I'm not Potentially, uh, referencing it, correct. I think he was saying you, know, you can do this and that, but I think it was a little creator app he was going to write where you would, if you could get access, whoever had access to that, who could get the hash key and it would actually reveal to them what that social security yeah. number was. And then it would uh, log everybody who's actually seen the full value. Right. So everybody right. who's run the routine to decrypt it goes into an audit log. Um, yeah, really, really nice work by both uh, Landon and JP. Crazy, crazy, crazy good. Yeah. Um, I was like, I think Landon said, well, here's an implementation we didn't think yeah. was possible. <laughs> and, uh, certainly enough. It's a good job. Uh, good job, guys.